seconds. I want to show something on this media exporter. I'm, this is a clip that I want to encode to load up to YouTube. See all, all these lines here is the uh, voice recognition that uh, captions. That's the captions track. So let's go to file export media and look lo and behold it does come up well, before it this this did not come up I cleared the cache and on this particular clip that I was able to finally get to work what I had to do was I don't know what just happened. I want to select all of these clips. There we go. Yep. I'm pretty sure I'm seeing all of them. And with all of them selected, then I went to File, Export, Media, and it would come up. But before, it would not come up until I selected all of them. So apparently it remembered. Uh, one other thing I did was go into, okay, edit, preferences, and media cache. Apparently this is off the screen, part of the screen that I'm recording. And this comes up. So I deleted, I clicked here, remove media cache files, and that deleted all of them. I could not, there was something else I couldn't select. Yeah, here, delete unused media. I couldn't select all. I, per, I don't know why I'm going to cancel this. I already deleted them and cancel this. I was going to do a YouTube about how to get media encoder to work, but it started working after I did this one thing where I highlighted all of them, then went to file, it's funny, file, export, media. And it just was not coming up at all, the whole media encoder. Well, let me see if I can um, sit this down here. Pull, pull this. It's not letting me pull that. I'm not able to pull this Premiere Pro around. What if I just disconnect it? Nah, minimum. No. Oh, I see. It's want me to deal with the encoder. All right, cancel encoder. And see if I minimize that. Let's bring it back. How would I get encoder to show up in this square? See, it's recording anything that's in this square. So I, I would have to get encoder into that square. So let's see if I can do that. File export media and encoder pops up but of course it's outside the Camtasia recording screen so is is there a way there's not a, a thing I can make this smaller it's gonna usually there's something up here right that you can resize maybe let's grab Okay, I'm able to do that. So if I resize this, then I can get this in in the capture screen. Interesting. So then I can change these settings. 
See, this is 1450 by 1080. I wanted to change this. This is the size that Camtasia was capturing, and I wanted to use another size. And this time that I fired up Camtasia, I was able to select the 1920 by 1080, which is the 16 to 9 aspect ratio, which fills YouTube's entire screen. And the 1080 is the maximum file type that you can upload to YouTube. I don't think they have 4K available, but I don't need 4K for instructional videos. So I wanted to change this 1450 by 1080 to 1920 and get the 16 to 9 aspect ratio because when I downloaded this, there was some black edges to the left and right. But it is actually recording this recording. What is it doing? It's actually encoding. I'm going to cancel it. <laughs> All right, cancel that. I'm, I found out that after ha highlighting this whole thing, Media Encoder does come up. Otherwise, there's just nothing on the screen. Then I went back to do it again to make a YouTube to demonstrate all this. And then it worked like it always has.